for all the hand wringing, the anticipation, and the questions about interest rates leading up to today's jobs report, the number itself left us with more anticipation and hand wringing and questions. That's because the data showed the pace of hiring slowed in August, and while it was considered a solid report, it did cast some doubt on whether it's enough for the Fed to act. The economy added 151,000 new jobs last month. That was below the estimates of 180,000, and it was down more than 200 from the 270,000 we saw in June and in July. By the way, the unemployment rate held steady at 4.9 percent. Hampton Pearson tells us what it all means. In August, employers slowed hiring and barely raised wages. The manufacturing and construction sectors lost a combined 20,000 jobs. Labor Secretary Thomas Perez cited weak global expansion and the strong dollar as headwinds for U.S. manufacturers. Manufacturing is an export-dependent industry, and uh, when you have a strong dollar and you have so many other economies that haven't seen our recovery, that's a real challenge. Average hourly earnings, now at just under $26 an hour, barely moved in August and are up just 2.4 percent year over year. Fed watchers say today's wage number is not what Fed Chair Janet Yellen wants to see as a condition for raising key short-term interest rates. The slowdown in average hourly earnings, that's enough to set people back on the sidelines within the Fed as well, and I think that's very important. Even with the August slowdown, job growth for the last three months still averages 232,000 jobs per month, enough over time to also lower the unemployment rate. At a recent Washington, D.C. area jobs fair, most applicants already had jobs, and even middle-aged job seekers were looking for opportunities to move up. Even though I personally have a job or have several jobs, um, just to find that, that job that I can really put everything into and feel more accomplished with has been the difficulty for me. I've been looking for a few months and um, I'm not discouraged yet. Meanwhile, the August slowdown is the latest twist in the debate over the Fed rate hike timetable. It's possible that they wait until the December meeting. Um, but I think uh, to us it's a little more likely that it's going to be September. It would require a pretty solid case to raise, I think, for them to weigh in before the U.S. presidential election. I think the gate is wide open. The FOMC needs to drive the truck through. It turns out the August jobs report has a history of coming in way below expectations. Over the last five years, it has been revised upwards on average by some 70,000 jobs. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.